go inside baseball here about how we do the podcast at Sorgatron Media. Kraus is on Google Hangout. We bring them in on a PC that's sitting over here or a Mac. I actually got a couple of them. Uh, and we take the visual, the visual from the desktop and we transport it as a virtual camera to this Wirecast software over here. It's something that, that Wirecast does, right? And it's all done over the network. Uh, so ideally, no, we, we can interchange how we do this with other applications, like perhaps Skype with group calling uh, or, or something like that. And there's some other specifics with that and other concerns that we would have with that. We've used Skype in the past, and, and we just have to reconfigure a couple of things. Not such a big deal. Stuff I've been, been kind of lazy about fixing in the studio for a while since this kind of works. Now, we have shows that have started and have been um, have been ongoing, more or less because of the ease of use of recording something to YouTube thanks to Google, what was it, Google Plus Hangouts On Air, which was a great thing. When that started up, I said, man, why do I need my studio? I don't need my studio anymore. You can go do a podcast with this thing over here. Why not? In fact, in fact... Um, um, Lipson, who did all who members of Lipson did a lot of those podcasting things over over the weekend. Um, they do a weekly or monthly uh, support call, basically with Crystal O'Connor. Uh, if you're a Lipson user, you can get on with there and ask ask your podcasting podcasting questions directly to them. There are other tools, Blab IM we play with a little bit. There's other things like that. Uh, somebody, uh, actually, my friend just actually passed on a, an application that does a Google Hangouts on air type function that I'm like, why do I need that? They probably want me to pay for it. I have Google Hangouts. You know why you have a studio that you've built and meticulously take care of every week in your basement? that you've had for how many years, that you know every nook and cranny of how it works, because Google can't shut it off like they're going <laughs> to to Google Hangouts on September 12th. We have four weeks. They At least, at least, they gave us four weeks notice. Very true. You have some time to work on a new, a the, new way. Google, this, the, Google is typically not so kind when it comes to things like this. Just oh, that's right. Last week, John was stretchy for some reason, remember? Right, right, right. And you are a little bit too because <laughs> well, you're, you're less stretchy, but you're boxed in because because um, they, they shut off the old version of uh, uh, Google Hangouts. This is the new version of Google Hangouts. So Google Hangouts is not going away. The Google Hangouts is an interface to YouTube is going away, and they're going to encourage you to use YouTube Live. Uh, okay. Okay, I get it. Get out of the way for progress. You may notice there may be a live streaming interface that's been in beta for the longest time. I don't use it. I like the way they use events uh, on there uh, with our functions, with what we do with PodCamp, with what we do for this show. Um, so so get out, get this, this old thing out of the way uh, so they can do the new thing. And then, of course, you do YouTube Live. I'm curious. What is the replacement? Now, if you're just using Google Hangouts to say... I want to hit a button, use my webcam, and be streaming on the internet. It was a great function. You can mostly do that with YouTube Live, I think. I think I think there's just going to be... Actually, that interface does do, I think, a webcam interface that you can just hit a button and be live. So that replaces that. I, my guess is that function will come out of beta. My problem, my problem, and what screws up our other shows that exist solely because everybody can go in there and start a YouTube Live via Google Hangouts on air with multiple people. We've had executive producers of 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 primetime cable shows on that show. We've had pro wrestling legends pop up on that show that has survived solely on Google Hangout no, Google Plus Hangouts on air. I want to get the entire title. <laughs> So oh, that's awesome. now we have four weeks to figure out how our 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 attention getting shows are going to be produced in a um, in a web capacity that doesn't involve me coming down and turning everything up in my own studio that can't get shut off by Google. Um, we have to figure out how these guys are going to connect, how they're going to do this. I have uh, the shot has been fired in the Slack today. 
to let them know that things are going to change and there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, the, the call has been out as we're going to look for a new tool to do what you guys have been doing. There are plenty out there. We've ignored most of them or tested all, a, a couple of them and came back to Google Hangouts because it did the job better than anything else. So, if anybody has any suggestions, please let us know. We have a couple in mind that we will be trying out in the next several weeks. Um, but, uh, but that's where we're at with that. And um, it's a really interesting point. Now, I, I actually ha was halfway into this one example. Uh, they're giving us four weeks notice. Guess what didn't? And guess what a couple of shows were really pissed about? Justin TV did not give anybody notice when they shut down. They just became Twitch, but you couldn't move your podcast about wrestling over to Twitch. Although I'm sure you're going to be able to sooner or later the way Twitch is going. But uh, it's been, you know, that kind of interesting thing. It always boils down to, you know, social media. If you're putting your stuff out there somewhere, um, ride that wave. If Facebook is getting you a lot of attention, ride that wave. But you also always need something to come back to. Whether you pay for an account with Libsyn to host your thing, whether you, you have things backed up on another site, YouTube can shut you off any day. Hope you have them on your computer and you can put some of the videos that are important somewhere else if you have an audience. And that's why we have AwesomeCast.net where you can subscribe, where <laughs> you can donate, and so we can make sure all that stuff is lined up and you can be our boss and tell us, and tell us to stop using Google Hangouts.